The first time I came here, I sat in the front row and cried. Tears pacing the hallways, lining seat cushions, and tracing over each word spoken from the mouths of these brave warriors, soldiers, who claimed a voice in the face of a world bent on silencing, on oppressing, a world so hot and so cold. It's like a breakfast buffet, at once delectable, enticing, yet when eaten too fast or sipped without the wine of wisdom, leaves you burned beyond recognition. So we made a space, a place where we could be free, even for just one hour, free to open our hearts and let the floodgates pour out into a symphony of letters mashed together, producing meaning, transcending time and space. But let us not forget the space we occupy. Let us not forget the poets who drag their way through jumbled streets with a song in their hearts or a verse in their back pockets, bubbling up into frothy overture, spilling out onto the cracks and crevices of sidewalks that envelop them, but do not contain them. Let us not forget the poets who seal their mouths shut tight with fear, for fear of being heard for fear that not only will their words expose their minds, but that their words will betray them because they will be persecuted for the truth that lies beneath those blue lips, those lips anchored shut so tight it might just save their skin, but not their souls. Because a poet without an outlet will self-combust. A poet without an outlet will explode into tiny fragments that slip and drip from eye sockets like rain in the end of days. And as a street cleaner scoop up soot, slush, and a thousand shattered souls in the midst of toiling debris, I wonder, do they even know they are poets at all? <laughs>